All right, I'm here with Diego Literas. How do I do? Right. You want to introduce yourself with your own accent? Okay, I'm Diego Literas, quarterback for Mallorca Voltors. Uh, yes, that's it. Muy bien. How good is my Spanish? One to ten. Uh, it's it's getting better. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Come on, give me my number. Uh, That's the important I would say, by far, which means the other. I would say one. seven because you you try to seven to speak a lot. Yeah. Really, I don't deserve you, you, seven. <laughs> you, you really you you really try to speak Spanish. My understanding is hundred percent. My speaking <laughs> too. Uh, all right. So let's start from the very beginning. Born and raised in Mallorca? Yep. All right, so start me. First First playing sports, what did you get into? Uh, I started playing uh, basketball when I was little. Uh, then I moved to soccer. And You didn't play the same, them at the same time ever? I, I, no, I played um, basketball with my high school, my high school team. And then when you were I, I, little, I didn't. Start, start when you're little. Un, un pequeño. Yeah, basketball, but I, I was. It was just to do some sport. Like you, I, there were, we didn't have uh, competition, so we just. My parents would just drop me off there, practice, and just like you shoot around, shoot hoops, and play and for not, fun. Yeah, did yeah, you nothing at least? What? Did you scrimmage at least? No. Oh, it was just shooting hoops. Just, just yeah. Okay, and how long? Yeah. How? What ages was this? Uh, I was about like, I would say, six, eight years old. Okay, six to eight, and you're playing basketball. Then what? Yeah, then we moved to a town um, here in Mallorca, so I started playing soccer for the the local team for yep. like five years. What town is this in Mallorca? Uh, it's called Alaró. Alaró. Okay. It's just it's a small town. Then. We, my parents got divorced, so my dad moved to the big city, Palma, and I played for one of the teams here in the big city. Yeah, big city. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, how far away is the word you just said that started with an A? It's like a 20 minute ride from here. Say it again, Ero, Eroto? Al Alado. Eroto, okay, because you can only yeah. be maybe what 50 minutes across from. Like Coenza to Palma, and that's about as far as you. Yeah, can yeah, it's like person. yeah, an hour. Yeah, that's an hour. So you, so you weren't too far still. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's so close. In the big city playing soccer. A, a, everything's close here. Yeah, in the big city playing soccer then though. Yeah, for it's called Santa Catalina, mm -hmm. just for a year, and then my sister started playing uh, basketball for a good team here. So one of his her teammates' dad was Isaac, mm -hmm. one of our coaches, and and I just um, well my dad played one year in England when he was studying there uh, American football. What position and was he, he? He was a receiver. Nice. Yeah. Does he say if and he's he just, good or not? He he was decent. <laughs> decent. Yeah, and. And then my dad got, got me into this, like he started um, talking to me about football, how cool it was. So I went to the team, tried out, and I liked it. Had you seen football and or then, watched it before then? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what what was your, you followed an NFL team or you just kind of knew it casually? Well, by then I would just, um, just put up like the channel and watch whatever team was playing. But then I got into like more deep, um, fan of I'm a, I'm a Cowboys fan, so I was I I, I liked how they played. I watched uh, Tony Romo and all those, uh, Des Bryant. So Romo was and, your your reason? Not my reason. I I liked I, I started playing receiver, so I was looking up to Des Bryant. Uh -huh. And then I just just kind of made myself a Cowboys fan. Uh, you like all right, Des. That's yes. the reason. All right. <clears throat> so from there, um, just flag those first couple years or tackle or how'd that process go? Yeah, I played, I started just practicing for a year because I was. Um, 
How were you? Were you good? Bad? I was just better basketball player still. Yeah, I was. I was just. I didn't. I didn't really how. I didn't know how the sport worked, so I was just trying to um, be cool and just go to practice, show up, and like just work out. Yeah, I, I was just fan of of working out, not really a sport fan. Because I, I was I, I was playing soccer my whole life. So, yeah. what was your best sport at that time? Then soccer or basketball? I would say soccer. And what what position were you in soccer? I was either I don't know what's called like um, striker, forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Forward. Midfield, forward, yeah, yeah. Goals, goals. Either midfield or either midfield or, or forward. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so then you get in. What's your first? Sometimes year? goalkeeper. <laughs> of course, lanky, long. Yep. Uh, what's your first year of tackle football? What year was that? How many years ago? That was two thousand and seventeen. Okay, so you've played yeah. four seasons of tackle football then. I, uh, yeah, I played three. This one's gonna be my fourth. You're going I, to- I played one year of flag football. Okay, so first year of tackle football was it just juniors? Yeah, juniors. And were you quarterback then or still receiver? I, I, was, I was quarterback, yeah. Quarterback? Yeah. So how'd the switch happen? That's a big switch. How'd the switch happen to yeah, – That's, that's a – it's a cool story because um, I, I showed up to practice one day and, like, um, I was just practicing with the big kids. Yeah. So um, they were just catching, playing catch and a, a, a ball – like came came to me, like they dropped the ball and it landed on my feet. So I grab it, throw it back to him, and and I throw the ball to the QDB, the QB by then. And after that practice, they said, "Yo, try out throwing some some passes." They liked it and then just moved to. And since then, I've been practicing quarterback. You've been a quarterback since then. Yeah. How do you like it? I do. I love it. Yeah. I love being. Okay, so what would you say is uh, your uh, your favorite thing about being a quarterback? It's different than any other position in any sport. Yeah, I just I think like it's the uh, mindset and how focused you gotta be in the game. Um, you just I I love the part where like. When when you say HUD, like the play moves, and when you're not ready, the play is not gonna start. So I just love that. Um, I gotta be ready to make a play work, and if I'm not ready, my like the team is not gonna work. So I would I I like that pressure on me because it I feel like it it makes me better. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I love. That's why I love being. I can't really bitch about anyone else if you're the quarterback and you guys are not yeah. successful. Kind of can fall on your shoulders, can't it? Yeah, yeah. What would you say your leadership style is then? You think you're a good leader? Uh, I think I could be better leader. Why is but that? Yeah, I, I'm a good leader. Yes, I'm. I'm a little bit shy. So if if I'm not, I'm not really confident with um, my teammates. Like let's say I have a a new teammate and. I just try to uh, make him feel comfortable, but yeah, I'm working. I, I'm a, I'm a good leader, but always I can be better. Okay, so what's your style? Uh, like playing style? No, no, your leadership style. Wait, wait, what do you mean, like? Like, what's your style of leadership? How do you get guys to follow you? How do you become the? Uh, oh. How do you become the leader. Well, I just I try to be the quarterback. Jay Cutler was the quarterback, right? But it's not like yeah. exactly people are like, "Oh, I love Jay Cutler. I'd play yeah. wherever Jay Cutler plays." So, how do you lead? How do you get them to follow you? Well, I just try to make them believe they can make plays. And if I see, uh, let's say now, a receiver, a running back that can, that can, I see like potential that he can help us out. I just go there and and talk to him and say, I mean. You, I, we need you to make plays, and I think you really can. So I guess that's something positive. Yeah. And and overall, I just try to um, 
uh, do my work and and hopefully like all my all my teammates are gonna say like well if if he's working hard then I better work hard. Yeah. You have the island leadership style. Yeah. Everything could be going wrong around you and you'd still just be chilling like you're on a beach. Yeah. Yeah. You agree? Say so, That's yeah. a good assessment? Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. And I have more That's of the just... asshole leadership style, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> no. All right. Uh, what's your favorite, uh, favorite play, favorite concept, favorite style of play? What, kind, uh... what style of quarterback would you say you are? I had never seen you play, and I had to be like, all right, what kind of quarterback am I getting? Uh, I would say dual threat. I can pass and run. Mm -hmm. Definitely in that order, let's be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. What, kind, what style? Um, I like uh, running pass options because yep. I like running. And, and I'm a good pocket passer, too. So uh, read options, uh, RPOs. And then uh, for, for just QB runs, and why not some verticals, like throwing ball deep. Yeah. yeah, putting pressure on the defense. Yeah. And let receivers make plays. What's the thing you need to improve at the most? Uh, I would say my, um, what's it called? Like my, my, my body i need to get um like more in like qb shape so like I mean, gain weight shape. like ben roethlisberger no no just <laughs> um like um get some weight in um and just i mean just just get bigger like get bigger keep building that yeah. body up yeah yeah, yeah. what yeah. else on field stuff on field, um, I'll say my 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 reading is good. Um, I just sometimes I I get messed up, but um, I would say that's 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 good. I obviously can always improve in everything, but reading is something I I like to work on, like every day, and 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 I like to know. Um, where I can throw the ball and and when, yeah, and, being quick and, then, and decisive. yeah, yeah, and then also my my um, throwing motion. I have a good throwing motion, but it's kind of slow. So I'm working on on getting that um, ball um, quicker, like well, faster release. Yeah, you kind of got the yeah. Kyler Murray throwing motion. Yeah, that could work though if you put enough put enough juice yeah. on it. Okay, so that first year playing quarterback, how'd you do? First year? Yeah, the first year. You're playing juniors, correct? Yeah. How'd you guys do? I was, how'd you do? Um, well, we were not good that year. Um, <laughs> I was a backup. So I would just play me, like the other, the starting QB um, was basically as good as me. They like offensive coordinator instead of having like a QB battle and say you're gonna start and play the whole game, he would just play one quarterback the first half and then me the second half. So yeah. I would just play one half and and you play defense or receiver the other half or anything. Uh, not that year. The next year I played at uh, DB. Okay, so this first year, what was your guys' record? Uh, we played just. We played three three games only, and we were one and two. One and two. Okay, yeah. so then going into the next year. Next year, I went to um, uh, United oh, States. So next year is when you're going to America? Yeah. Okay, so let's restart that. Uh, how? How does that all come about? Uh, well, I, uh, my parents found a, a company that was sending kids to U.S. to so just they one year. They company because they were just tired of you. No, just I, I wanted to. <laughs> I, they, they wanted me to have that experience, and and me too. So we just started to go for it, and uh, I went there for a year. How did that first come up, though? 
you were playing American football, you liked it, you said, oh, I wouldn't mind uh, to see what life's like in America. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was all about football. I was ready to, to um, get better. So I was like, no, there's no better way to get better at football than going where, where football's from. Yeah. So I would just, I asked my parents and they would go like, okay, yeah, you, you need grades. You need good grades. If you, you, you have good grades in school, yeah, that's no problem. Okay, so you touched so, down. How do you, how do you find out where you're going? They they called you and said you're going to Illinois. Uh, yeah, yeah. They just it's like you get picked random. So there's like uh, host families that just uh, they have uh, kind of a curriculum of yep. you, and they have like a, a bunch more kids to choose from, and then uh, a family. I hope my host family in Illinois chose chose me. So this is like July, August, 2018. It was around. It was. This was around May. May. So May. May. 2018, May, May 2018. You get picked by this host family in Illinois. Yeah. And you know that in August you're going to move to Illinois. Exactly. I I I moved. Uh, April no, July 27th. Okay, so July 27th, right before maybe a month or so before school's about to start. Yeah, 15 days before. Yep. We started, started uh, 15 or 17. I don't know. So you probably moved there. How much English did you know the second you landed in just the United States? Basics. Basics. Just what I've learned in school in Spain and, and they didn't teach you a lot of stuff here. So not did really good. come up and speak to you in English or did your host family talk in Spanish at first? or No, what? always English. Yeah. Always English. Yeah. You just learned so, fire or what? Exactly. Yeah. How often were you confused in school the first month or so? Uh, in school, not really, because like I could understand English, but I, by the time I I, I got to speak up, it was harder for me. Yeah. So, what about socially, did all the kids kind of know that like, oh, that's the yeah, 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 it's English. fine. Yeah, they 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 had me there. Great company, great friends. Um, were your friends kind of teaching you along the way? Yeah, yeah. If I I made mistakes. They were, they were like, that's not how I say it. And I was like, okay, thank you. So I was, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And also my whole mom, my whole family. Yeah, they were helping you right away, get used to it? Yeah. yeah. So would you say it was a struggle for you or was it pretty easy? Uh, I mean, it was, it was easy. I get used to stuff uh, pretty quick. So the first month was the harder, was harder because I had to like get used to everything new family, new country, new school. But then with sport, with uh, sports and yeah. and all that, it was just really easy. So how was your first uh, American football practice in America? What were your thoughts? It was, it was I mean, way better than here because it's just like um, a culture there. So it was, it was like we would practice every day. Uh, play Friday and then Saturday um, watch film yeah and and then here it was just it's just uh, two days a week and then um, you have a game on Sunday yeah and we really don't watch film like how'd I watched it because how'd you compare with the American kids when you got out there that first practice um, comfortable with your skills and everything or no yeah, I was cool. I was cool. But then, like, there were some good players, like, best, uh, better than me and then uh, worse than me. Yeah. So, I was just, like, average player there. Just an average player? Yeah. But I, I, I got better through the season. So, I, I, I started playing JV. And then, by the, by the end of the season, I was playing uh, starting DB in varsity. Perfect. And your QB yeah. skills feel like they got improved a lot there too. Just the fundamentals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah, fundamental lot. work. Yeah, good, good QB coach too. So, how uh, how'd going to uh, so social events no problem for you? No. Was it, was it like fine. the movies yeah. or different than the? Yeah, movies? yeah, yeah. It was kind of the same. Yeah. Kind of the same as the movies. Yeah. Different. It was, than, a, how was it, it different than Spanish high school? I never been. Yeah, to for sure. School. Yeah, for sure. How? What's the yeah. biggest difference? Um, I would say 
um, education wise, it was it was just for me it was much easier there than here. In English, here a lot about yeah. That. Even even if it was in English, yeah. Because um, here they just want you to do past classes and they put so much pressure on you. Uh, sometimes it's just too much, you know. But there, if if you don't understand something, the the teacher will come up to you and and be patient with you. And and yeah, here if if you don't understand not, uh, anything, you I mean, the teacher will say, "Okay, we gotta move on." Yeah, um, you uh, figure out yourself. So yeah, that was that was a big difference there. And then friends, um, everybody was um, like uh, nice to me, like everyone in school. I don't know if it was because I was a new kid and and like from another country, but yeah, I have some great Probably. company. And great you have friends. an earring. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't have it by then, so. Oh, the earring's new. Yeah. What about the the girls were into you? Yeah, some some of them, yeah. Some of them because you could yeah. speak Spanish. Yeah, I would say so. How often did you get asked to speak Spanish? Or Mallorquin, oh, like tell them about day. life and my and every day. They, they didn't even know where Mallorca was at, so, ah, so they were very, very intrigued by this new quarterback. Yeah, how did basketball season go once you got into that? Uh, I, yeah, I played uh, after football, I played basketball and then baseball. Yep, and which then one you, which one were you best at? Basketball, yeah, yeah. why? Yeah, I because I, I just like here in Spain, it's we don't we don't really play like nobody plays baseball. Yeah. But um a lot of people play basketball. So I would just um hang out with my friends and, and shoot around. So I would just How was your high school basketball experience then? Um it was it was nice, yeah. I I, I like basketball. I like playing basketball you sometimes. You guys do well? Yeah. Yeah. I play. Well not really good, but um yeah, I, I enjoyed it so much. You so score a lot of points. Yeah, I average like eighteen points a game. Eighteen. Eight. Eight. Around oh my god. Eight or ten. Eighteen. Yeah. I thought you were gonna lead with that. Jesus. Nah. The leading score in the state of Illinois. <laughs> what about baseball? You probably never played baseball before. Nope. Never did played you, it. What did you play? Varsity yeah. baseball, junior varsity? Yeah, varsity. Varsity, what position? Yeah, I, I will I will always play outfield. Yeah, like a center yeah. fielder? Uh, right field, though. right field. How how was your swing? Yeah, you had that big, strong uh, right field. I ne- yeah, I never, I never really um, bat or pitch. I n- I never pitched in a game, and they they would never uh, put me at pitching. But then um, I would just practice so much, like I would never really play at games. Yeah. Um, because you know, like I was the new kid and. And really, really didn't know much about the rules. So <laughs> if something <laughs> will go wrong, I'll be like, oh, my God, what's happening? So, yeah. So you had a good baseball experience. So then you, you moved back yeah. to Spain then? Yeah, after I moved here uh, June 15th. So you had a year. One a year, year yeah. Back. Almost almost a year, yeah. Almost a year then back in Spain. And yeah. then... Uh, then you played last season that just happened. Yeah. Has your first season back in Spain? Uh huh. Yeah. How would you say it was noticeably different from your year in America of learning and playing sport? Uh, yeah, it was, it was much different. Um, not really a brand new team. Cause I, I knew it, um, from the year before I went to the U S yeah. Um, obviously some new kids and some kids I played, that weren't in team anymore. Um, but yeah, it was a good transition. So yeah. So how'd your how'd your season go? How are you doing? Uh pretty cool actually. Um uh, junior in the junior we were um when uh corona stopped the season, uh, we really did uh, really good. Uh, we were what number one or number two? It couldn't have been number, number two we hadn't lost the game, but yeah. yeah. N- number one in our conference, at least. I don't know. Um, the other, we didn't play teams from the other conference. Yeah. Yeah. You can give details, Diego. You're allowed to say we were killing folks. 
Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, Louis. No. Yeah. So now going into this year, what do you uh, what do you think? Um, I think it's going to be a great year for me, um, football wise. You're allowed to play juniors again. Yeah, I have one more year left. Perfect. But yeah. some of your receivers and other guys have moved yeah. up to juniors. Uh, basically, um, so a lot of players. So what's the goal now as the juniors quarterback to get him up to speed? Uh, goal as junior quarterback is just um, uh, make the new kids that are coming uh, play it as hard as the ones that left. Yeah. And and try to to same goal as last year, win the championship. So yeah, hopefully we can meet up in the in the championship final and make a run to it. Perfect. So tell me what some of this other stuff you're doing is, uh, you know, tied to getting recruited and trying to go play in the states again and uh, putting your film out there and going to recruiting camps. Kind of tell me some of that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I would I would have um, a harder video with my highlights. So every time a coach asks for it, I would just um, send it to him. Yep. Um, also post it on social media. I think social media is a great way to get noticed. Um, um, then uh, PPI uh, helps a lot of kids go to the U.S., play college. Um, if you attend one of, of their camps, uh, great camps, great coaching. Um, you... If, if you're not, um, like, if you don't have uh, college potential, you will always um, get oh, no. stuff. Yeah. So, okay, and, I have a question then. Are you, uh, you 100% feel in yourself confident, ready to play college football? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wh why? 100%. Why all that confidence? You've been to America, you've been back. Uh, high school. And I, I just, I just feel like I have um, uh, rapidly uh, improved. Yeah, a rapidly lot. improved. I would say yeah. rapidly improved is a good answer. So yeah. if I'm, I'm a college football coach. Why, why should I sign Diego? Uh, I just think, I mean, I'm a great teammate. You're not gonna have any problem with me. Um, I would always help our kids. Um, great leader too. I scored a back, and then. Um, I just can't make plays out there. So, yeah, pretty good reason. You're a good guy. You're a good teammate, and you're a really good yeah. player. Yeah. All right. Good. Good answer so far. Where's the best play, best venue you've ever played a football game? Best avenue, like venue, place, area. Oh, stadium. Uh, best stadium. We played a team. How was your high school stadium, one to ten? Our high school was just normal, like not really big, not really small. So like a five, um, not a cool stadium, three? Yeah, I would say like, yeah, four or five. Okay. Yeah. What's but the then uh, we played a team. It was like top ten team in the state of Illinois. They had a, a, a big uh, – field like nice turf um nice stands a lot of um student section was crazy too yeah yeah what was that school called it was called uh Argen argenta hortage where's the worst venue worst venue i would say our field here in mallorca <laughs> That's yeah, rude. That's a good venue. Fence, the field. Fence, fence. Yeah, the field is it's 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 the That's worst the I played in. Yeah, but fans are amazing. Like venues better than anyone else we played at this year, I'd say. But field, yeah. Yeah, I feel you. you shouldn't yeah, bleed that much from your elbows. Like here, fans are, are they go crazy when when games on, and yeah, we 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 can say we have the best fans in Spain. Definitely good fans. Crazy. Yeah. Americans are crazy. What would you say is the difference between a Mallorcan and a mainland Spaniard? Uh, Football-wise? No, just personality-wise. What makes them different? Uh, well, here in Mallorca, we are just like um, almost everybody knows each other. So we can 
like um i would say we were just more like closed like yeah we don't really um what about americans talking. versus the americans that come onto the team what's the biggest difference personality wise uh like uh imports you say yeah 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 or americans you uh, lived in america what's the difference you think there's a big difference or you just think people are people uh, well there's a difference but not, not not really a big difference but um i kind of have a theory people are people yeah now that i've yeah, been that's right. in different countries people seem kind yeah. of like people <clears throat> do you think imports help develop a club or do you yeah, think they sure. take away playing time from local guys I, they, they help, but um, I just think uh, imports are good to make uh, local players better. But once the local players reach like import potential, I just think you just have to let the local player play yeah, and perfect. not and not sign uh, imports to like you just you made that kid uh, good enough. To play right, get an input outside. for a different position yeah. to develop that position. Exactly. What would you say? Uh, who's your favorite NFL player now? Des Bryant on the practice squad of the Ravens. Uh, no, not, not anymore. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, as a Cowboys fan, I like Dak Prescott. Now he's injured, so. So Andy Dalton. Uh, yeah, no, no, Andy Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like. As a quarterback, I look up to, I would say, Mahomes, Russell Wilson, um, was is there, Kyler Murray, and college-wise, Justin Fields. That's a good pick. Uh, Trevor Lawrence. Uh, so you like really good quarterbacks. Yeah. <laughs> Elite quarterbacking. That's good. Trey Lance. What's wrong with the uh, What's wrong with the Cowboys right now? Uh, well, that's a that's a <laughs> that's a tough question to answer. Is McCarthy a bad coach? Mm, I don't think that's the problem. I just think, uh, besides injured injuries, besides your whole like, O lines out, Prescott O line down. Um, I just think we just, I mean, fire our defense coordinator, Mike Nolan, and sign a uh, a new one. And just over the hill, yeah. Get defense like our secondary. Who's better all... next five years, Amari Cooper or CD Lamb? Next five years, yeah. Yeah, for five years, you have them both. But if you had to pick one, uh, same price. I'll go with CD, yeah. Yeah, a little bit more dynamic, yeah, yeah. more electric, too. Who's your favorite and teammate? Teammate, yeah. Uh, right now, Marcos. Yeah, not Marcos. Who besides Marcos? Uh, well, right, he's not playing anymore. But last year, Pau was a. Uh, I liked him so much. He was he was a beast out there. How do you uh, how do you? So okay, so you got Marcos, who's a very dominant receiver. How do yeah. you balance the play call with knowing? Your top, what your top receiver is doing, but they also know what your top receiver is, mm -hmm. but also keeping everybody involved. What's your thought process on that? Uh, well, I just try to make the um, the right uh, reads. So if if the read, if I read a uh, defense and the pass is not a mark, because I I don't try to force it. I try other receivers to make plays. Mm -hmm. But if 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 Marcos, let's say Marcos is one on one, they haven't adjusted to Marcos. Marcos is going to get it. Yeah, if if they don't adjust to Marcos, Marcos is going to catch the ball. I know that. It just I just throw it up there, let him make the play. That was a good answer. <clears throat> Who's your funniest teammate? Funniest teammate, uh, Pow. Yeah. Stop shouting out, Pow. I mean, I just <laughs> we we just have so much fun time together. But yeah. What uh? So what's your goals for the future then? Play college football. Goals for down? the future. Uh, yeah. Play college and hopefully make the league one day. Yeah. Why not? Yep. Keep developing. Keep getting better. Keep chasing it. Yep. Keep getting your name out exactly. there. Exactly. Exactly. Kind of all you can do. Yep. 
And uh, perfect. I don't think I got anything else for you, Diego. That was a really okay. good job. Yeah, thank Everyone, you. Everyone, Diego, Literas. Lit lit literas, yeah. Literas. You'll get better saying in just Spanish. Best quarterback in all of Spain. Yes, sir.